Hello. Sharon, I just wanted to stop and make a video for you real quick. It's a little windy. And say thank you, thank you, thank you for getting it. And thank you for allowing me to create healing pieces of jewelry for you. Now, originally, I know you wanted all of these pieces without any separators. But in that case, you would have a choker. <laughs> and I don't know if you're into chokers or not. But I thank you for just appreciating my judgment, my spiritual judgment. So, as you can see, this one I tried to keep pretty simple. And I used every bead that was on the strand and it's about 21 inches now due to the separator beads okay um these are just lovely beads i wish you could go back to italy and get some more because these are absolutely beautiful not to mention this gorgeous gorgeous chunk of coral you got now, just so you know, in case you wanted it opposite, it is loose enough to turn. I don't recommend that you do it very often, but it is possible. And as you can see, I put a nice thick chain with that. You know, the jump ring that I used is large enough, believe it or not, for you to put a scarf or silk or something else through there if you like. And I will be changing out these for a huge lobster claw. Um, and on to the beautiful rose quartz. I got to tell you, you pick some really great, great pieces. I mean, great strands of beads. And again, I know you said you wanted them all only <laughs> the beads. But again, you'd have a choker. So I incorporated some separator beads and a couple of the um, eight millimeter round beads and some nice fat chunks to give it more energy more of all of the energy properties rose quartz stands for and as you can see on this one i arranged the separator beads appropriately enough to have two beads left so that I could make you a matching pair of earrings and I hope that you love them and here we have um, I found two pieces of this is called hand hand hammered or hammered crystals and I happen to have two little pieces left of something else that I made so I added them there to have a more focal point and i of course picked the most deepest pink bead to use as a focal for you and as you can see on both of these they are a toggle clasp which i feel is necessary due to the weight of this necklace i didn't want to put just a little tiny itty bitty you know pea size lobster claw on these because then it would hurt your neck I feel it would hurt your neck more in the back if you had a smaller clasp and I don't know how well this is going to zoom in but you'll see here that I put on here what's called this is it right here this is called a wire protector that little horseshoe right there it's called a wire protector and that protects it from you know when you put it on take it off put it on take it off put it on take it off and it you know twists and bends and it's just a protector like it said for your wire and just so you know i use fish cord on this fish cord holds up to oh what is one of those um pointy nose fishes called um you know with the long poke looking thing for a nose anyway it holds up to like you know 500 pounds so this necklace is only about two pounds okay okay a pound and a half <laughs> so i know that that will hold it but in any case i believe in reinforcement so i use two strands on each necklace for you 
I really want to tell you that I appreciate you. I appreciate you being a return customer. I appreciate you for believing the energies that work for you, through you, with you, and your healing crystal babies. And I really want to... Oh, I didn't bring your freebie out here. Well, the freebie, I'll write on your envelope what it is. <laughs> How's that? So, I thank you. I appreciate you. I hope you're having an awesome day, and I look forward to making your next few pieces. Have a great day, Sharon. Bye.